Ryan Boucher. Penguins won the first matchup 4-0 back in October. We are underway in Denver. McKinnon, Kachuskin, Rantanen for the Avalanche. No shots on the power play for Colorado. And now the Penguins with pressure in the Avalanche zone. They score! It's knocked home by Pouliot. Well, Pooley Harvey made the whole play. Initial shot from a bad angle. Some help, I believe, from Riley Smith. Watch this. The puck's going to go over. Pooley Harvey gets it. And that's Riley Smith. And then Crosby with this backhander, and it's redirected out in front. And Pooley Harvey stops around the blue paint and puts it in the empty net. You know what I'd like to see there, Edzo? I'd like to see Taves just kind of push that rebound right back into Georgiev on that initial shot by Pooley Harvey. They kept it alive and over seven minutes without a whistle. Crosby for O'Connor. Nice move around McKinnon. Gerard breaks it up. Crosby in front. Rush. Oh, he's stopped by Georgiev. What a play by O'Connor. What a brilliant pass by Crosby. And what a stoppy by Georgiev. There come the Penguins. Rust again. Towards the net. Score! 2 nothing, Pittsburgh. The last two shifts by Sidney Crosby. On Rust on the backhand. There's the steal by Crosby. And Rust says, you know what? I'm going to go forehand this time. And you have no answer. And what a power move by Russ. Period. Everybody else is going to grab the rope. Here's Miles Wood for the Avalanche. Wood cuts in front, and then a shot by Parisi off the post. A stick for Georgiev. He got it back. Here's Cogliano around Pedersen. Jerry Pedersen. Oh, and a big save on Cogliano by the Delta. Puck kept it at the line by Latang. Now back across to the right side, and Duhame, who's been outstanding on the penalty kill, as we mentioned, give and go. Duhame with a shot off the pipe. Oh, and then he stopped, I believe, the Chushkin. Dodge from DraftKings Sportsbook at the top of your screen. Here comes O'Connor with Crosby. Crosby fires and a save by Georgian. Oh, remember that stop. Sidney Crosby this afternoon. Bush, I kind of thought there was too many men on the ice for the Penguins. Play by Crosby again. This tip is unbelievable. Look how far wide that puck is. That's got to be at least five to six feet to the left of Georgiev. But that straight blade of Crosby allows him to kind of redirect puts. That is something else. Thumbstrom out for Joseph. They gave Dallas a couple of pizzas. They made no mistake. Now Crosby with it. Has a point on all three Penguins goals. Shot by Joseph. Score! Four points for Crosby. Four nothing Penguins. What a screen in front of the net by Benstrom. That front presence. Watch right in front of Georgiev. He got no. I mean, he's looking. He's looking. He's looking. And who's you been there? I mean, I. I don't know if you start guessing at this point, but it's a heck of a job to get this puck through, and you got somebody standing right in your right in your grill. Well, you see how Georgiev's looking low. I mean, Benson stood there and provided a perfect screen. Penguins now lead 4-0. Two goals in just under two minutes. Shot by Walker. Score! So the Avalanche come right back 25 seconds after the fourth Penguins goal. Well, this guy was so good in Philadelphia, and he's going to be such a terrific guy for the Avalanche. He's so good at getting pucks through. Head up, knowing there's traffic in front. A big goal for the Avalanche. They needed this one towards the end of the second period. Another screen push from our AT&T net camp. Parisi's there. Latang is there. I hear yeah. not even from Chicago. <laughs> Here's Walker in with a shot off the post. 
Opportunity off the pipe, and now the Avalanche are right back in the world. McKinnon breaks through and it stops. Vladodelkovic. Duhane on the Trenton. Well, that's one of those situations there where, yeah, you don't want to go through the middle of the ice on your backhand, Bush, but he felt the pressure, and you know that uh, you know what's on the line. Not only obviously the two points for your team, but individually as well. There's Taves dropping it back off for McKinnon. McKinnon cross ice pass score. The streaks continue as McKinnon sets up Truett. A point in all 34 home games. 18 straight overall for McKinnon. Oh, well, there it is. To a guy, Bush, that we talked about, probably needs to shoot the puck a little bit more, considering the talented guys that he's playing with more times than not for the Colorado Avalanche. He has no option to shoot it from here, right, Edzo? I mean, you get this pass, you better put it to the net. In the middle of the ice, left Bay Casey. Malkin goes at McKinnon, but not able to get in the way of that. Carlson had the puck stripped by Nechuskin. Has Luckinen on his right. The trailer, back across Luckinen in front for Nechuskin. He is stopped by an extended jury. And the play just absolutely explodes. You got to be selfish here. You got to drift that puck, or if you're going to make a pass, it better be a good one. Because Lepkinen had no chance. Oh, what a play there by Chari <laughs> to come all the way back. How about that fight? I mean, not giving up. Joseph does a good job of buying him some time. Up the boards and out. Lepkinen. Four middle stat. Dropping it back off for Nechuskin. And with a shot. Stopped by Chari. Lepkinen just missed. And the Penguins. 4.45 on the clock, here's Taves with Drouin on his right. Drouin scores the third Colorado goal. Back across for McKinnon, he scores! Nathan McKinnon ties the game at four. Well, we saw this combination earlier, did we not? But it went from the other side, it went from McKinnon to Drouin. This time, it's Drouin over to McKinnon. And this is an absolute dart. Just a bullet by Nathan McKinnon. Eric Carlson with a shot. Blocked by Drouin. Five seconds. Avalanche and Penguins are headed for overtime in Denver. Crosby out with Rust and Latang. McKinney with Drouin and McCarr. Now McCarr for Jonathan Drouin. And again, the Avalanche reset. Opening minute of overtime. Here comes Drouin. Looks to get a step on the tag. Look again. He shoots. He scores! that at some point, Bush, the altitude was going to kick in, and as this game went on, it seemed like the Penguins just were a step slower, and the Avalanche found their game. What a power move. What a play. Ice was tilted in the third period, wasn't it? And perhaps the Penguins just simply ran out of gas. There was plenty of gas left in this tank as Drew in, blew by Latang, and on the forehand, able to elevate 
What a finish. Heck of a game for Drew Ann today.